in this video we're going to talk about uh, program uh, configuration in computer memory and after watching this video I strongly advise that you start reading specific uh, parts of the tutorial links that I provide over here I'm going to open the presentation uh, the handout is an exact copy of the presentation only um, all topics are listed under one file chances are you already enrolled in a Java course and ready to start learning a Java programming environment a Java virtual machine during uh, Java program execution uh, takes care of the program placement in memory allocation of data deallocation of that data and many other features in CIS 123 we're going to explore some of these features in greater detail uh, using um, an ability to examine critical parts of program compiled in C++ and find out what options are available to allocate and deallocate variables see what can be done with data structures and classes and explore object behavior and interfaces in summary this is what we do in this course first some basic knowledge your CPU is constantly running some kind of code somewhere in computer memory the program is made up of single instructions and that is all the CPU knows once in a while CPU looks up the data in computer memory and does some processing like updates uh, those variables uh, uses some arithmetic uh, computations and so forth when this is all put together you have all elements of uh, for Neumann architecture uh, computer and in this course we're going to study how uh, using memory concepts can help us create better programs as I told you already we're using examples of different programming languages and I personally prefer examples in C++ because they tend to be smaller in size some examples examples will be also using a traditional C programming language here we have uh, three examples of the same program that prints hello world on computer screen so let's try one of these examples directly in our project so I can just select everything copy and paste it right here and try running it in order to run this code I need to first build an executable image so normally just uh, say build solution and when it completes just make sure that nothing no error messages are displayed if there are some error messages it's likely that maybe you did something wrong with the syntax like for for example you copied and pasted and forgot uh, the final uh, closing brace or something of that nature or perhaps like i told you maybe you chose on the wrong project type when you first created the project just make sure that you create empty c++ project and copy and paste this and it should be a good test that your uh, visual studio and com c++ compiler configuration is running fine so once uh, this uh, step is complete i would like to show you what happens uh, in our uh, project uh, directory so this is the actual project directory and this subfolder here contains the source file which is this file and uh, as soon as we build uh, the program using this option uh, because we're uh, initially using debug configuration of of, of this uh, executable image um, it's creating debug subfolder and you see that there are some files that it generates during the build when it goes through this process and one of the files is week1.exe this is the executable program that 
does exactly this that's supposed to print hello world um, in a command window environment so here what you can do is just click uh, debug and start without debugging normally you actually have two choices right here you can start debugging which means that you can actually stop execution of your code and look inside at different settings and variables and so forth but if you just want to test the entire program and see how it works you just normally start without debugging i normally just press Control f5 to run the code so here program starts and it prints this message on on my screen i will quickly adjust the properties of uh, this window just to make it a little bit friendlier perhaps i can cho uh, choose a different background and change my um, uh, font to be a little bit uh, larger right here so this should be okay all right so this is uh, some adjustments to, to the font now see how it also tells me that this program entire process has exited with code zero uh, exit code zero generally indicates a success it means that this program did not have any problems uh, running and uh, we this is the reason why we have this return statement that returns zero and the meaning of this zero is uh, return code zero so the operating system when it gets this code from this program understands that this program uh, has finished without any kind of uh, unusual uh, errors or any other sort of problems uh, typically when you return a non-zero it should indicate a well-known to the operating system error code in c++ environment this uh, object standard library object c out which stands for character output represents the output device such as this console window and you can see that this output operator which looks like a double uh, less uh, uh, sign um, sends out this text uh, to the screen and backslash n is a new line character so it's making sure that the cursor uh, moves to the next line before anything else happens in this window in order for this object to become available to this program we have to include a standard library header which is uh, named iostream iostream is a text file that exists somewhere in our visual studio uh, c++ compiler configuration and it's just simply a text file that contains a definition of this character output uh, class anyways uh, we're uh, so these are pretty much the all the components right here uh, and you see that this uh, prints the simple message on the screen so going back to our presentation perhaps you already noticed that um, uh, all of the examples in Java in C++ and in C uh, have uh, a, a function or method like Java method over here um, named main so this is a main entry point into the program and this is where the execution of the program begins so in our case it's a main function in our C++ sample uh, one uh, very important uh, common uh, syntax element is the pair of curly braces so these uh, are present uh, in every in every uh, example on this page um, you should know that a pair of braces basically creates you or gives you an ability to specify a scope of either programming statements or a placeholder that will contain um, variables so you can create um, variables and you can do computations with them and they will exist in the scope that is opening with an opening brace and closing with a closing brace 